Bonjour et bienvenue. Hello and welcome to Straight Through the Channel. Following the level 1 video on nouns, here are more details about nouns. Nouns are divided into several categories. I am going to give you some of the main categories, focusing on the ones that are relevant to your French learning. The first category is common nouns, non commun, which refer to unspecified general nouns, and proper nouns, non propre, which refer to specific nouns. For example, bébé and ville are common nouns, while Louis and Paris are proper nouns. You can differentiate them by capitalization. Proper nouns have to be capitalized. Just a quick note about capitals. Unlike in English, nouns for days, months and languages are common nouns in French. They should therefore not start with a capital. The next category we're going to talk about is concrete nouns, non concrets, and abstract nouns, non abstraits. While concrete nouns refer to physical things that you can physically touch, abstract nouns refer to emotions, concepts, and ideas. For example, lit and four are concrete nouns, while confort and chaleur are abstract nouns. Sometimes it can be a bit confusing, so if you're not too sure which is which, try to add a number in front of it. For example, two beds work, but two comforts wouldn't. Next, we are going to talk about countable nouns, non dénombrable, and uncountable nouns, non indénombrable. Don't worry, you don't have to be able to pronounce them in French. This is as simple as it sounds. If you can count the thing you're talking about, then it is countable. For example, bouteille de lait, bottle of milk. You can have one bottle of milk, two bottles of milk, or several bottles of milk. Just another example for the fun of it. Une lampe. You can have one lamp, two lamps, or several lamps. It does not work for uncountable nouns. For example, you cannot count milk, lait, or power, électricité. The last category we're going to talk about today is collective nouns, non collectif. A collective noun is a singular noun representing a group of individuals. If you are not too sure what singular and plural mean, just try to remember that a noun that represents a single thing, like one apple, une pomme, is singular. But when there are several apples, for example, three apples, trois pommes, it's plural. Plural nouns usually take a S in French. So, back to our collective nouns. A crowd, une foule, is a singular noun. There is no S at the end. But it represents several people. A herd, un troupeau, is a singular noun, but it represents several animals. One last note about categories of nouns. A noun belongs to several categories. For example, the last noun we talked about, herd, troupeau, is a common noun, a concrete noun, a countable noun, and a collective noun. I have made a table of examples for you to have a look at if you want to, so feel free to pause the video now if you want to study it. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Merci de votre attention. Feel free to comment, like and subscribe. See you soon. À bientôt.